Okay, Metalworks map review. I'm assuming that you guys all know how to do the rollout. And we're just gonna start by going over some mids. There's gonna be three basic mids that you're gonna wanna do. Uh, for two of them, your demo is gonna walk out onto bats, and he's gonna shoot at their demo first before walking over here and jumping off, meeting up with your medic. Both of your scouts are gonna play over by the blue crate here. Your flank scout is gonna try and poke under, but if somebody's denying him, then he just stays around and looks for bombers. On each of these two mids, also, your pocket scout when running through house is going to run here, fall out through, through drop down and jump on top of your fords for the start of the mid to look for bombers that are trying to get on your medic fast. By the way, your medic is going to walk uh, main for both of these mids. The difference between these mids is what your soldiers do. You, you On mid one, this is the one that I would recommend you run like as your standard, your roamer is going to play in your house, passive spamming and reloading rockets until uh, an opportunity presents itself when he goes in for the jump. On the other side of the point, uh, your, your uh, pocket is going to play on their crates and kind of just draw attention, make it so that nobody can walk across into you guys, just reload do some good shit like that. The other mid uh, where your demo rolls out balcony and your mid rolls out main is that at the start of the mid your roamer will roll out balcony as well but he'll do a high bomb onto their forward spawn while your pocket plays under the point making sure that nobody can get across and getting early damage on people who clump up a really good place to shoot is like right here because you can splash people who try to walk up their plank while that's happening your players are gonna walk up your plank and for both of these mids this is how the aggression on the mid starts when somebody gets caught out on the first default mid and dies, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press your advantage over your plank. Now, for the third mid, for the third mid, what you're going to do is you're going to play really passive. So, your roamer is just going to hang out in your house like before. Pocket is going to play on their crates, still. The main difference to uh, this rollout is that since you're playing it safe, your demo is going to roll out, your demo is going to roll out lower so that he's a harder target to see coming, while your med is going to roll out back door. And essentially what you guys are doing here is that you're waiting for your pocket and your demo to do a bunch of damage to somebody and then when that happens you commit off of the damage like explosively your soldiers commit off of the damage like BAM immediately as soon as they have all their shit loaded and well Another thing that can happen on that mid is that they'll try to get somebody into you because you've given it up. And if they try to go into you, that's the strength of the mid. You do this mid when they're really getting you with like soldier bombs or scouts running across the point, stuff like that. Sorry, someone was at my door. You're going to do this third passive mid when uh, you're getting owned by stuff like that. And the main thing is to draw them into you so that you can collapse on them, like one at a time. But if that's not possible, your soldiers can like explode out for the double bomb 
while the rest of your team runs away if it's clear that you don't have any positioning on mid. So, assuming that you guys win mid, what's generally going to happen is that your demo... Uh, always make sure to check this hiding spot, because you can hide up here. And a lot of people like to hide up here, and if you get directed, like somebody walks around the corner and just directs you, you're dead. You can't do anything. So, what you're going to be doing is, basically, your demo can hold down all of this shit. And your scout, like, plays around here, just looking at underpass, ready to go help your demo if he needs it. Meanwhile, your pocket scout, both your soldiers and your medic are going through here. Check this hiding spot too, because you can hide here. Are going to rotate valley, and you're going to buff up your roamer and sack him in like so. Their medic is going to be playing in near the shutter, probably. If they're playing in the shutter and you see that as roamer, you can call that they're really far back and you guys can try to, like, you guys can try to slow push through here, like, catch the guys who are going to be playing, like, on the left side of the point, their flank. Uh, if that doesn't work, you can also run your pocket scout under the point and he can either run up through here up through map room or he can run up this pipe through shutter either way uh, if they get the force great fall back to mid get ready to push with uberad if uh, they don't and you guys want to like uh, make sure that they don't get owned what can happen is that <clears throat> your pocket scout plays right here your medic plays on this slope and your pocket plays right here-ish and your demo plays a little further back your goal is for your pocket to rotate to meet them wherever they are and take an uber exchange into them so that they don't get to walk into mid with uber and you buy time for your spawns your scout and demo are not going to be uh, are not going to be present for this and it's on your pocket to make them flash enough so that they don't have like the uber necessary they don't have the uber necessary to push into mid with full stuff like with full enough add to like actually kill people ideally what will happen is that you as pocket will just walk out you'll deal one rocket of damage to like the demo or the medic or whatever and then you'll get used on and then their whole team will get flashed and then your, the, your ubers will be even in length and you can just back up to mid and neither team will have uber and you'll have spawners coming to help in the fight now pushing with add uh, if it is add of any size, or if you have player advantage, I would recommend slow pushing alley, where you just like buff up your pocket. Uh, by the way, when you slow push alley, your demo man should keep watching house to make sure there's no back caps. Flank scout watches underpass. Both soldiers. Uh, both soldiers and your medic. Uh, actually, it would probably be better if, like, it would be better if your roamer watches this and both scouts and your pocket walk through here. Yeah, that's better. And your scouts are just gonna play back with your medic and deny bombers while your pocket walks forward and gains information. He's gonna shoot all the rockets to check hiders, you know. One, two, three, and that's all the hiders check. Somebody could be up here, but you're going to see this. And your pocket, if he gets challenged, just jumps back, gets rehealed. Your scouts can walk forward and start getting on people. But the thing that you really want to watch out for is you want to watch out for, like, a bomb that's, like, something like... Excuse me, I fucked it up. A bomb that's something like this. 
and that's the primary thing that your pocket scout and your medic want to be looking out for because this is a great place to get bombed but it is also an excellent place to surf away and when you guys take the point and you set up we'll assume that it's even ubers again how you're gonna hold lobby to get your sack set up is your demo is gonna have always have either four or five stickies on this doorway and he can have three stickies you know whatever place he likes to have them and your pocket is gonna watch left side kind of passively what I would say is not to walk over like the imaginary line between these two things while you're walking around and your pocket scout is gonna just kinda walk around in lobby in front of your medic making sure that no one you know gets a weird fast bomb in when this when you guys are doing this on last with even ubers you're gonna buff up your flank and your flank players are gonna double sack through this right side door and the idea behind this double sack is that there is going to be a roamer watching this door and he's gonna stand either here or here if he's good the idea with this is that you just fucking walk through with your buffs and kill this guy reload and keep sacking is the idea now if that works you guys back up to the, you guys can back up to second how I would advise you to hold second is I would advise your medic to play you know here-ish demo's got five sticks on this three sticks somewhere down there your pocket scout can stand up on this shit while your pocket stands in this window to see who's in like who's getting into lobby and where they are if they come out to meet you take a fucking uber with your fucking scout and soldier into them own them simple as that same idea of uh, pocket exchanges apply as the two-man sack on middle, by the way. You can do the same thing, where if they try to push into you with Uber, your pocket rotates in, does a bunch of splash damage, they flash, he body blocks people from getting through the works. Now, if you're pushing with Uber ad, I would advise you to do it like this. The best push that is like standard shit to do is for you to uber your scout and your demo through this door your demo puts a stick down jumps gets ubered like right before he jumps and he lands like here and pushes them down this way when it is called that you guys use uh your fucking your fucking pocket is gonna walk in through this door and jump into the clump that is clumped up from where your demo is pushing them back while this is happening you know your fucking pocket scout is running your medic forward to flash the demo and your two flank players your flank scout can come in from whatever door he wants and your uh, roamer should come in through this door and uh, this is a map where instead of getting kills you kinda wanna w lock them away from the point so once the demo locks them, like pushes them into the spawn, what is probably the best thing to do is your demo just lays a carpet of sticks on the point while your scouts just get on it and cap. Is probably like the clean clinical way to do this. Now, if they have a sentry gun, the best way to push sentry guns on this map, uh, it depends on where it is. If it is anywhere on the left side, you just take your fucking demo man scout uber in through left and just walk in and fucking kill it and your demo traps out the spawn while your fucking team kills all the people who aren't trapped in spawn. If it is under the point, if it's under the point, you're going to have both of your soldiers go right side and they're going to, you know, push this guy off and then they're going to spam the gun if it's like under this bridge because this is a popular sentry spot and that's how you take care of it is you double soldier spam it from like closet okay 
So now let's go over holding last. Excuse me, I'm gonna bind impulse 101 real quick. Whoops. Okay. Uh, the best way to hold on this map, in my opinion, when you have even ubers, is for your pocket pocket plays on this shit. Romer plays on this little house. Your medic demo and your pocket scout all play on the bridge and then flank scout has a snetty set up like either on this blue crate or like in this corner and just passive peeks this to see if anybody's trying to get in. Of course your pocket scout can also be looking over there. He can just be standing right here on heavy and see all three entrances at the same time. If they pull out a sniper, what you're gonna do instead is uh, fucking your demo is gonna play on this little thing your medic is gonna play in this pit uh, your fucking pocket is gonna lock out this doorway your roamer is gonna play over here and your flank scout who should should play in spawn uh, your flank scout should play in spawn if he is on engineer like he should be so he can't get headshot um, and it's honestly your pocket scout should like switch off of heavy back onto scout so because if you have a heavy he is going to get headshot by sniper players unless he's like good at heavy and highlander which I don't think you guys have any highlander experience uh, pushing out of last uh, real quick actually let's go over how to catch the sniper so your whole goal is to catch the sniper which is which is like when he gets called you try to like catch him out how you're gonna accomplish this is you're gonna spam him out until he tries to like peek peek through main here in which case your demo is gonna like sticky the floor and if at the instant damage gets hit your pocket like gets the smell of blood in his nose and bombs to like finish him off when that happens you guys run a counter sack uh, there's not really a good way to counter sack out of this map I would advise you to like if their sniper gets caught, what you can do is you can just blind bomb around this corner as your other soldier like bomb jumps away from the combat that happens when he kills the sniper. Uh, but if that's not the case, usually what you're gonna do is you're gonna like sack either through this left door, in which case you're gonna be expecting to fight a one v one with their roamer, or actually their roamer is probably gonna be dead but you still are probably gonna have to fight a 1v1 with a flank player maybe with a flank player and the demo man if he's watching shutter like he should be uh... alternatively you could if you have like time to be slow you could go over this right side and go for a silly jump that i can't do where you like you jump speed shot you can land like over here on this bridge if you hit the speed shot like perfect and you still have two rockets to get the medic who is probably either going to be like right there or walking out of shutter if they if a bunch of people wipe the ideal way to push out of last is you have your pocket push this shutter at the same time that your scout your flank scout pushes through this doorway always look at here by the way you come in here fucking look look for hiders 
there's a hider, just make sure that guy can't get in and your pocket comes in and you guys 2v1 him and kill him. Meanwhile, your roamer is going to check this shit. Uh, actually, uh, it doesn't matter really. It'd probably be better for your roamer to to push through the shutter. I was thinking of the situation where your roamer spawns late because he's sacked, but if you have all of your guys up, your pocket can just check this shit. And uh, your combo, your whole combo, walks through here and tries to bust through and get onto the point through here. If they have a demo man, uh, if they don't have a demo man, this is what you do. Or if they have a demo man, this is the better thing to do. I'm sorry, this is kind of a scatterbrained uh, review. If they don't have a demo man and they're far back because they're expecting you to push, one good thing that you can do is just walk your pocket through this door and he just jumps onto the high ground on these things. Uh... Yeah, and your roamer just kind of lurks around in lobby, making sure no one gets behind. Specifically, he lurks around in this area because, you know, a guy can't get past all of you on the point capping through there, but he can through this direction. Okay, pushing mid. Let's go over holding second, actually, because we went over how to push into second, but not holding. So for holding second, generally what you're going to do for like the entire time is you're going to, if it's even ubers, medic plays like right here, scout plays here ready to run the medic out from bombers, demo plays on the bridge, pocket plays closer on the bridge, uh, your scout plays on top of this fucking fence, and your roamer is like just pressures an alley not dying for anything and that's the how you hold how you're gonna push is that you guys are gonna drop down to underpass always check this by the way make sure no one is hiding for a back cap you can your fucking flank uh, pocket scout can just run by and check this as he's walking your medic up to the point you're gonna walk through here uh, your pocket should always check this with a rocket you're gonna drop underpass and walk through here and your pocket will jump up onto this the reason that you go underpass instead of through house is that it's it is slower slightly but it's it's so so easy to get locked out like both of these doors are like here and here are so easy to lock out that it's better to just go underpass of course you can chase straight through house if they have no explosive classes but this is the like safe standard way to push out and you're just trying to use the number advantage that you got to like threaten an aggressive fight where they lose where your soldiers just take a lot of ground because you know as you guys are pushing through uh, valley your flank is going to be pushing through house and you guys are just going to push them back with spam and numbers add or uh, you know take it very slow and just whittle their health down if they have no medic and they should just give it up they might sack for your medic but you know you guys can take care of that and you just push them out slowly recap uh, holding mid uh, you only hold mid if you're a disad in which case uh, your pocket is gonna like your pocket is gonna play on their crates again or no your crates actually this time wait he's fucking <laughs> he's gonna play on the crates that lead into your valley and spam them as they walk in wherever they walk in from your medic and your pocket scout and 
uh, no. Your medic and your pocket scout are going to play here. Your medic is like all the way away, and your pocket scout is just watching, getting early signs. Your demo plays right here so that he gets a good view at the whole point so he can look for his traps wherever they are. Good trap spots here, here, here. A uh, good trap spot right there on the other side when they try to walk up the plank. And he just debts his trap and then fucking leaves. Your pocket jumps away into your valley while your roamer is hiding. If your roamer's dead, you don't give anybody up for uh, your pot. Uh, it depends, actually. If you have one person down and they're pushing with Ubrad, you can lose your pocket for the sack. But it's risky. And your flank scout is just going to stand with your demo in case your demo gets super fast bombed. Uh, good places for your roamer to hide are like... Uh, this is like a gimmick hiding spot. Uh, tch -tch -tch. You can get up here, I think. Yep, you can get up here. This is called Batman. Uh, you can sit up here and crouch, and they can't see you until their pocket jumps. And when their pocket jumps, you just... Wherever their medic is. Uh, you can... Hide behind the crates on your side of the mid, and then jump them when they all start capping that's kind of a suicide more than a like you probably won't get anything with that unless but if they're all really weak you can do it like hiding around in this area is not so bad uh, you can just fucking stand here and, and if they don't push from here they don't see you you can walk out pop the medic up air shot them kill them uh, da, 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 da. And that's going to be how you do that. I already went pushing mid into second, didn't I? So, I think... I think that's the whole map. Let me check my notes. I think that's the whole map. Alright. Well... Good luck in your Metalworks match.